Namme Joho, Venge Kyo. Namme Joho, Venge Kyo. Namme Joho, Venge Kyo. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Give thanks and praise to the mystic law of the universe and its protective forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our paths in all ways and all directions that are positive, correct and lawful. Give thanks and praise. Aya Mada Shauda Ayamada Ishata Ayamada Anurada Ayamada Uwashita Ayama Shamana Ayama Ashana Ayama Shamana Adawea, Adawea, Adawea. Ada asan arehaiha asunada ishata. Anada uwasa, tuwasa. Unada uwashita. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Well, to be honest, we don't have nothing specific planned right now. But, you may always keep extensive notes. I kind of take up one of them old notebooks here. I just feel like chant some like a simple chant and thing. But I go recite that ancient English prayer. Because it's a prayer where you know, it have a lot of substance to it. Alright, hear it. Oh, Hawa, great spirit, whose voice I hear in the wind, and whose breath give life to all the earth. Hear I, I am small and weak and need strength and wiseness. Let me walk in beauty and the beauty of my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunset. I think I need to rephrase this one. Just give me a second here. Let me walk in peace and beauty. Yeah. And the beauty of my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunset. Make my hands respect the things you have made. And make my ear sharp enough to hear your voice. Make me wise so I may totally comprehend the things you have taught my ancestors. Let me learn the lessons you have hidden in every leaf and rock. I seek strength not to be greater than my brothers but to fight my greatest enemy myself make me always willing to come to you with clean hands and straight eyes so when life fade as the fading sunset my soul my spirit my all may come to you without shame. Give thanks and praise to the Most High. Give thanks and praise to the mystic law of the universe. Yeah, we have a thing what we call the Our Father prayer, but we kind of like to chant it in the ancient, what I'm called, Pihelio. Hebrew, you know what I mean, I would call it the ancient purely American language, uh, as it is, you know, 
we just come see everything so we can take what we need and leave the rest. We don't have to act like some boy, we're crazy. You know what I mean? Now we are fanatic. But yeah, I kind of like them kind of non English chant. <coughs> Excuse me. Non English words. Alright. Hawa Papal. Our father prayer. Abanawa. Shabasha Mayam Kadash Hayashamka. Hawa Malakwat Katabaha. Rataza Wanka Heya Aisha. Baharataza Kawa Heya Bashamayam. Natan la Nawa Lakam Kalyawam. Wasalak Nawa. Kawabwat Nawa. Kasalak Nawa. Kawabwat Yanawa. Walaha Tabayahanawa. Banasayawan Abal. Hawashinawa Manrai. Kayalaka hamalakwa, wahahala waha tapa arat, lahai walamyam, aman. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Namaste. That is the Sanskrit. The next time we might touch some. Some basic Sanskrit uh, is more to familiarize yourself with the different different tongues, and just by familiarizing yourself with different different tongues, it will take you upon a level where you are view things different. You know what I mean? You are comprehend things more easily because you are seen upon multiple different levels are different point of views are different perspective so yeah you know it makes sense for really practice these different different information and different different cultures and you become diverse you become multi you know, call it multi-dimensional you know just stuck in a one paradigm you know just stuck on one level you know, just view things because uh, the TV said this is the way you have to view it. So that is how you view it. So explore. Ask questions. Go on a quest. Take the journey there. Explore. Them ancient languages uh, reveal a lot of things, you know. Them have a thing what I'm called the soul. The word feet is napash. You know, the ancient... American language, or we call it Paleo Hebrew. And then the conscience is Nasama. So the soul is Napash. And the conscience is Nasama. I'm going to read a little note I normally take. I can't tell you where it comes from because I have so much notes over the years. Here it goes The Creator has equipped us with the sense of sight so we might observe the sun which is his creation so we might use the sun to decode what is written and what has been preserved for us in our story the sun has been here since the beginning of creation and has been all and has seen all things it is the ultimate source of energy and our eyes are the window to our soul unique to the descendant of the original people of the earth the creator has given us the addition given us an addition to our soul a conscience which equips and prepare us to be perceptive, discerning, and judgmental, to think rationally, morally, justly, and intellectually. 
or soul represent our consciousness, which is our awareness, being cognizant, awareness. While our conscience represent the animating spirit, conscience, C-O-N, con means with science. To validate by a repeatable process achieving the same results. So conscience is just wordplay for wit scientific process. So the scientific process is where you really want to deal with opposed to just the science. You know what I mean? Because the scientific process is validated by the repeatable process or by a repeatable process achieving the same results. So that would be scientific. So yeah, you know, we just uh, touch upon a few little things just for us touch upon a few little things because since we're not the public and this is like a little free flow car. I put a video out there without any narrative. But really, the video there is just to highlight documents, basic documents that's there. I never really create these documents. A lot of them is out there. They are them just a fair, just a look, ask a question. Type in any question in a Google and then take your time and see what come up. Yeah man, you have some laws where people say laws, cause I man love the law, you know. Yeah man, I'm going to I know what the law is, cause if I am the source and the author of all law, then I man have to totally and completely love the law. You know what I mean? Cause we are the source and the author of all law once in your sovereign state capacity the little joker people them where have this <sighs> veil over them you just said them I don't even want to say them face them whole perception is veiled them whole concept is veiled you know what I mean them whole existence is in a veil so they are them have to come out of this thing what them are call a sleep, this deep sleep. You know what I mean? However, step by step, God, just just this little basic information. You know what I mean? This informal reasoning. It awakening the item. It's called a paradigm shift. So all the item have to do are just stick with it and start do the research. Just look. Just go validate, just go qualify what is being said. And it's okay for qualify every single word. Every single word. Down to the A and D and and the O R. Or all of them things they are legally is phrase. Cause if you use a word and inappropriately, it gives a sentence structure totally, a completely different meaning so you know you have to pay attention to the minute detail any detail but especially some things that people that us overlook yes even the letter a look it up legally the letter a means hypothetical means not real look it up in one of those legal dictionaries yeah man so you know that's just information while we flow People like to talk about keys, but you have keys that are physical and keys that are you know, non-physical. You know what I mean? Because more time I go through the earth, me I use key when I'm physical. You know what I mean? The keys are in you know, the information, the correct information we have. Where you go certain places and you say certain things. You say certain things or you present certain things and document. And you walk through the door easily without no pressure. Because you have the correct information which is the key. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of key out there, you know. I'm like the, the, the supreme 
laws my like the ecclesiastical laws my like all kind of law once them appropriate and conform to nature's law according to certain ancient them say the key is a great spirit you know and the key has three rules thou shall have no other spirit before the great spirit thou shall not kill thou shall not steal and them three law there are some good laws, some good rules. And I mean, I have no other God before the supreme creator. Thou shalt not kill. Not even for food, them I say enough to kill. So, all them things are interesting. And thou shalt not steal. Well, them things there will everybody know. But, I can tell you, sir, probably 98 or 99% are we, because me I put all myself in it. A thief. I say, God, them, 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 them t listen, we're born in our state where if we are go down the road and we see all a little mango upon a tree, we're not our tree in our yard where it's not our yard, and even though it lean over the branch on the road, you know what we tell her, even I do it, you know where I tell myself, say, what? This is on the road, so I can reach up and pick that. Most money that consider that stealing. So yeah. Panda level eh? Yeah man. Now for that little Mickey Mouse level eh, is one thing, but for what the corporation them are do on an international and national level, boy that is something else. You can't even call that stealing. That is something else. That is something else. However, when I am on contemplate, you know, and all my meditation and I think about the greatest laws, there are some things I would have considered the greatest law. I would have said, watch ya. I have no other God before the creator of life, which is light. You get me? I have no other God before that supreme creator. And next one would have said, watch ya. Just love your neighbor as you love yourself and do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Them three energy, them I think can work wonders, you know. Love your neighbor as how you love yourself. Do unto others. You know what I mean? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That means say, if you don't want a man pluck out your eye, make sure you not pluck out a man's eye. You know what I mean? So it's a nice little meditation for contemplate, you know. Yeah man, cause we're supposed to take time out for a look into things, a look through things while we're looking at things, you know what I mean? Yeah man. So them three things that love your neighbor. And we have to be specific cause uh, most people think neighbor mean the person will live next door to you, immediately next door to you, or a few down doors down from you. That not really mean I'm neighbor. That a Babylon you don't call it interpretation. When I hear the Bible say the good Samaritan is a neighbor, that means say a man up on the street side and everybody when know him in the community walk past him. And it was a stranger from somewhere else. What them term as good Samaritan, it's an allegory. So if I'm on the right here like home day up on the island in a greater port more in a St. Catherine. And when me in need is a man I come check me from our St. Elizabeth. Yeah, we out there. We are St. Elizabeth, him I link me. And him I bring certain provision and certain things to make sure some are good. And when I'm gone, him I touch base and I set everything up. The family good. Watch me. That is my neighbor. Because you will have some next door neighbor where them a plan to separate your life from your body with other ones. And them live immediately next to you. A door from you, two, three doors from you. Sometimes it's just a street. The street ahead of you, the street behind you, or the lane ahead of you. So you have to know what is what. When them say neighbor, 
don't misconstrue it to be the man where you sit next to you because the man the next to you can do one of your most <laughs> hated enemy so don't be confused that's why we have to try balance with self so we can understand the distinctions between you know what is correct and what is not so nobody make people fool you about neighbor and you are open up your place to some evil door only because you're familiar with the evil where them are do and them live next door to you and a neighbor them those are not neighbor your neighbor is like what the example say supposed to be that good Samaritan supposed to look out for your interests your well-being and always a check for make sure say yeah you're good all when them now have nothing to give you them just a give you an encouraging word brethren stay strong you're good youth wall up stay firm that is enough for some man a man like me that is enough for me just tell me say you give thanks cause me always I say give thanks and that is enough we don't need no fanfare. What we need is people who activate and can come with all our strength and say, watch out, these are the things that we do. So make, let's implement this so we can move to the next level. Because you have to always improve, you have to always look to grow. You know what I mean? It's only the finite people that stay the same, them can change, but the infinite ones, them, I go always, uh, you just say, transcend. I go always a race to a higher level. Yeah, man, because that is always the goal. To improve, to become better, much, much better. So, yeah, man, I really dare today, I really, you know, push too much information per se, but you have to know, say, boy, when I keep things simple, seeing you get a little bit more effect out of the simplicity it's like things were complex behind anything and everything that is complex there lies simplicity yeah man so simplicity for me is the ultimate sophistication so we don't need no loud, loud, loud fanfare and we have to beat down the door there and beat down those people and act like we're silly. Acting like we're silly. You know what I mean? Because we want attention. It's like a little child catching a tantrum. You know what I mean? Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication so let's keep it simple keep it balanced you know what i mean this is how we correct ourselves we we'll come out of the fast lane and we we'll start go slow and easy it's like when we are in the old time days when we are youth and going to dance and look upon some big man and big woman a dance them not dance like how most of them crazy people and pick me a dance now them whole heap of hops cause jump like bullfrog and they all over the place. They got a day in a tree and I jump down up oh, out of a tree. Pantapa woman, what kind of what kind of barbary is those things? You know our old time days when you talk about dancing, you go slow and easy. Yeah man, them call it cool and deadly. How are you say ya? Yeah. Wanna look at new age people don't even know these things. So again, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So make we got easy you now. I people. I people and the known self you know. Make we got easy. Cause we are it. We have always been it. And we'll always be it. Listen, <coughs> I saw an interview with Hitler from Germany and Hitler I tell the world so listen these people in America are the jewels of the creator you hear that uh, we are the jewel of the creator we are the apple of the creator's eye 
Yeah, man, we are everything to the Creator. All the marks from we you know is us for humble ourselves and acknowledge that power. That's it. And when I do it with no bag of you, yeah, yeah, and big crowd and big noise and all these, like what a religion, you know what I mean? I teach the people them. We do it with simplicity. We do it with simplicity. We do it with sincerity. You know what I mean? Simplicity. Sincerity. Yeah, man. Sophistication. So watch me now. Me just teach you know what it is to have class. Raise on a level, man. Some of no act too shallow. Some of no act too vulgar. No for no not know what etiquette is. So watch me now. Me go look up them words, you know. Me go find the definition of those words, you know. And make we adapt some of these moral principles. You know what I mean? Make we be simple in how we are got you. Because we not have to create a no riot or a no racket. Make we use simplicity. You know what I mean? For be our key. Make we just take it slow and easy, man. And make we have respect and love and honor for everybody. Irrespective of what that spirit is in front of you. Make we just go easy. Cause time are coming you now. Believe me. When I tell you say a time are come when we have to go be rough. We have to go be tough. And we have to go be harsh. And you see when that time come. No we are go ready you know. No we are go ready. No misconstrued. Our soft spoken nature, or even the goodness what we are bring forward for us being soft, or us being some little silly kind of people where you can just mess around with and it's okay. No, this is just who we are by nature. We are noble people by nature. You know what I mean? We are the noble people. We always maintain our honor. But a time a coming at the earth where the true warriors them have to go stand up and may talk both male and female. And this battle here have to be waged spiritually. Because when we achieve spiritual success, then physically it's total decimation. Because if it's not lawful and correct, it have to go somewhere else. It cannot exist in the same space with us where I say, boy, we are correct with self. You know what I mean? And I am not immune. If I and I step out of line and jump off of this road here, then I bridge in for dead if I correct her, if I say, king, I want to go on. Then I drop off of the eye bed and lick the eye head, or the eye move so. Don't watch me going down that road and know say I make me step off of the path and a man now said, Yo look out man, I wanna go on there. We have to be with brother's keeper. Me now have to scold my brother and say, Yo, how you deal with bam 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 no. I can't say brethren wall up look like say boy you're stray from the that way there, you know. It's correct it no brother. I may all a whisper car we don't want everybody else, no. So a man just catch it and a man just correct himself or even a female just correct herself. I need to start address the female them on some level where it get even more intimate because may I tell you the woman them uno 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 need uno, uno. listen without uno we can't exist. So the woman them for no so for us uno everything. We not just put the woman on a pedestal you know. We keep her there. She has to secure one of them place there. One of them standard there. Where it's so high. That standard is so high. It's next to the creator. Because one thing with the woman, you know. From the woman de derive I, man, and both women. You get me? I never come from the man. 
I manifest through the womb of a woman. Yeah, that seed was sown by the man. Cause this is why it, it's called copulation. The two halves come together, becoming one. And as such, manifest something great. You know what I mean? They might, they might, they might procreate, bring forth life. You know what I mean? Species are the same. Like man and man cannot do that. Woman and woman cannot do that. So right away, that's just about why those things are not the norm in nature. However, who am I? Remember, you know, me say free will. Me not there for come talk about me have no big stick for place upon anybody back. You get me? I am just here to shine some light on the correct information. So if it's not correct, me don't necessarily have to talk about it. But once it's correct, me don't have a problem I highlight it. Hence, we just nurture, you know, what is helpful, what is positive, what is good, what is right, what is correct. And that we choose to nurture, because it's always a choice. So yeah, man. You have some keys in the earth when they're really physical, you know? Yeah, man. I've no other God except the Most High Creator of all things. Try not to kill. Yeah, you really shouldn't have to kill nothing at all, really. Because more time in a ram for slaughter, also a musket and fly. Because them two things there where I can't take. So around me, I keep fly. Musket up. Lock down my place and have up my mesh and them thing there. Balcony, me have my destroyer. Inside, me have my vape. Me not like them kind of fly. Mosquito, it not for day in my environment. Me not like filthy nothing at all. So me not keep roach on them little kind of untidy critters there. Yeah, man. So what me I try to say is this, man. Correct yourself, you know. So you have to watch your hygiene. As simple as it is, watch how you carry yourself. You know what I mean? Watch the words them where we are used, because we have to even go easy upon enough for the narrative. Woman, please remove from the vulgarity. It is very, very ugly. It's unbecoming. You know what I mean? Woman, when you carry a different energy and you carry a different kind of power. You are p truly powerful, woman. Yeah, man. Spoil them, spoil them you know, with misinformation. But the woman, remember, I tell you, man, no society, absolutely no society can exist without a woman. Show me the society where I have been, man, and I drop a bomb in that. Now, what I say? No society cannot function. Without the life giver. So when some man I say God make man and then make woman. Boy, I take a different view here, sir. But again, my opinion is just mine. Yeah, my opinion is just mine. Because if you think about it, logically, or even just being practical. But I rather say, boy, when I call I man, I really, you know, the additional to man I am. Because if I come from the woman, then the woman now have to die so before I. She must die before I. Thinking about it. The woman die before we hear so That's why it's called Eve. You know what I mean? And Eve come before Christmas. Eve come before Easter. Eve come before whatever come after. That's why it's Eve. So, hey, I just my, you know, views. Because, you know, we not really look upon a thing like how everybody else look upon it. So, I say, make we try elevate them woman here. Yeah. Make we try make the woman them know how great and powerful them truly are. Only through them spoil it so them, are, you know, behave so untidy. And may I tell you, when them decide for broke out and behave untidy, yo, you know, I'll be around. 
However, you see when you buck all I impress with high spiritually. <laughs> now care which other woman you look like, she could have named Ali Berry. It no move you. You get me? And beauty, not really not the physical. When you find beauty spiritually then, then you gotta find what it is to be happy. You gotta really know what it is to be happy. Because if the beauty is only superficial, then you know a loss you there. You can't know a love. You know you, you only know a loss. You know what I mean? And you can't know a true joy. You don't even know happiness. You just know a good feeling. Yeah man, cause you know come together. And that moment of pleasure the pass. How we you say man? If the girl says something wrong, she get all a kick in her face from some of them bad man, yeah? And if the man says something wrong, him get all a chop or a quick stab from them bad woman, yeah? Why? And I show them a loss. I used to ask myself this question. How can a woman and a man live together and love and have children? And then after a while, the thing change. And change to the point where the woman a kill the man or the woman have to send some man to kill the man or the man a pop off and a kill the woman. I can't, I can't get that. The only way I look at it is say, boy, I don't know nothing about love. I don't know what is love. Nobody teach you. Know. I don't think love a talk. Love a work. Love a nurture. Love a patience. Love a care. All of these things are actions. These things are not nothing the way you just talk. It's not just a noun. You know what I mean? Yeah man, you know talk, say your love, you express your love. The man we are talk, I say I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh man, as you hear him say I love you, I love you, just laugh and say I'm going to look a good man here. Yeah. Because you want the man we assure you, say I love you. He never even tell you say I love you yet, but the things them way I do, every time you see him, you just want to cry. Because you yeah, say this can't real. The money can't exist. What do you mean? The money exists. But you're not going to find him. You're not the dance hall. You know what I mean? You're not even going to find him and walk upon the road. But them ones they exist in the earth. And them ones they, when them ones they commit, them ones they commit completely. Why? Because them they're on a much higher level for no say it's not just the physical. And don't talk about copulating with them kind of high woman there, you know, or high man there, you know. Because it's a total different experience than, you know, where I move from the lower level there. Eh? With the loss. With the loss disguised as love. You know what I mean? With the loss. It's a whole different level. So everything of its stages. You know what I mean? And when you get correct knowledge, remember me, I tell you, you start to move upon a level where they must say, I owe him. What him think? Him a God? Or him go on like everything is beneath him, so. Ah, yeah, and I act the ones them I act. When you see people reach a next level, it's actually a next level them depon. Yes! Them are going to be way above the normal folk that are sleeping. You know what I mean? And the normal folk where I see it, we say, boy, them are show up. No, it's not showing off. This is just who the high people them is. The people them will choose. We choose to live correct. We choose to live lawful. And these things are a choice. Because the only thing the most high creator gives us is free will to choose. You always have a right to choose. I rather die. You get me? I rather die. Than to live like a slave. What I say? I can't know. So that my voluntary servitude legally. And me participate. Yeah man. Involuntary servitude is in the law as being abolished. But nobody said nothing about voluntary servitude. So if them catch you in a contract and you don't know how to contract then them are going to compel you 
You know what I mean? For honor the contract, all when you know you're in a contract, God, I'm call it unilateral, meaning it's one sided. So, me and you were studied upon this higher level, easily dismiss that, because no contract can be one sided. Contract mean meeting of the mind, two party of you agree. You understand? Consideration of involve, acceptance of involve. So when a man does I give some statement and I said do this and do that, listen, check them people in a car time are coming at the earth where you see the moment when I try to do them thing there. It going to be at your own peril. Remember I say it and these things are law, it going to be at your own peril. So people, let's go easy. Let's go easy. Cause we know say boy it gonna get rocky. Yeah, it will get rough. It have to. It have to. This is nature. Nature not does shine. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny day, every day, all day. Sometimes it rains. Every now and again you get a storm. So prepare on yourself. Cause it going to be, you know, call it turmoil and torture and all kind of things for some people. But for others. It's going to be euphoric. Them ones that go in them own heaven. And I said them not care. But them not going to help you making your own choices. Free will. When Noah say yo, to so the boat, yeah, yo, I want to come because something different I go go on at the earth. So I better come forward. But true, them never see this new thing on the earth. Nobody never forward. And where you think happen? I'm off a pay for it. So right now, I tell the ones them say, study for become competent. Look into the words them way I use. Take with time, go easy, show more compassion, put the sword over your back, sell the gun, buy some laptop, adjust them basic, yeah. Just these basic. Anyway, wrap it up, car. You know me. I don't want to put the item to sleep. Again, to my subscribers, to my subscribers, boy, I may I tell you, I'm not used to these things, you know, so I give thanks. All when a man just a pass through, I think I'm going to put my number out there where every subscriber will subscribe to my platform can get a 10 minute talk with me. Only 10 minutes, I can't go no more than that. So if I have only about 220 subscribers, that's a joke. I can't talk to one for 10, 10, 10, 10 minutes. Not in a one day. But me make myself available only to my subscribers, only to my subscribers, only. I guess me have to try verify or you know qualify. Say yeah, you're a subscriber when you call. But it's only my subscriber. I want to get ten minutes of my time. You talk about anything, anything at all. Me give you ten minutes of my time. Any question you want to ask, ten minutes alone can burn out myself. So yeah, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Subscribers, without any, you know, we are nothing. Cause our phone is, we are bring this message too. So we need the item. And don't be afraid to share the platform, share the information. Don't be selfish. Don't keep it to yourself so you can study and regurgitate for sound like you're smart. Don't do that. Share the information because when it come from its source, it's more authentic. You know what I mean? So share the platform, share the information and come forward. Help me. Teach me. I'm totally receptive to learning. You know what I mean? I'm your student. I am your student. Give thanks. Nam me yo ho when get kyo. Nam me yo ho when get kyo. Nam me yo ho when get kyo. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise.